Like it was promised eons ago, it is time for the most boring video on the Hongamies channel. You can disagree, of course. But this time, like I said, it's the gear video. What's in my bag 2022? Oh yeah! <laughs> Explosions. Yeah. Today I'm here with Halla. Our youngest Australian Kelpie, she's a bit tired because she has been doing all the doggy things whole day. Yeah. Yes, let's cut into the business. Basically, I want to tell you what I'm using at the moment, year 2022, basic stuff, cameras, lens. Oh yeah, now I can say cameras. Yeah, and lenses and whatnot. First of all, cameras. Like you have probably seen in my earlier videos, if you've been following the channel, this is my old trusty Canon 5D Mark IV. But now it is the P camera, B, not P, <laughs> B camera, in a way that it has been replaced. The epic tale, why it was first of all replaced, uh, has to do with this. Here, this one. Uh, I lost, I lost the plate that has all the symbols for the shooting modes, and then I found it, and then I fixed it with super glue. And well, you can start guessing how that went. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, a bit costly trip with the super glue and other related with that. They had to replace the whole top cover, they had to replace this mechanism, they had to replace the circuitry that is controlling the lenses. So that's how it went it well. So remember the fixed things with super glue. It's always well. Yeah, now you think, yeah, but. You put it too much, yeah, I put it just a little bit, but if it, it went bad, it went bad. But now, I like to take this with me, I like to keep it with the wide lens, as, as I'm rolling with my new camera, that is the Canon R6. R6 camera with all kinds of fancy stuff. Why did I choose this? Why didn't I go with R5? Well, it's like with many other people. The R5 makes two huge files to handle. Drives would get full in a flash. Otherwise it's the same thing. One thing that I can miss from the from the R5 is the what it it can take the slow motion with 4K the 100 or one was it 120 frames per second that's that's the only thing that I will probably miss but those are so so rare occasions that I don't normally use this even with the high frame rate I use that yeah. And with my trusty 100 to 600 millimeter Sigma lens, the S version, S version, not S version again. Uh, this is designed for the people who have power, who can handle the power, who can carry this huge freaking many kilos of aluminium and magnesium bodied beautiful lens. Yeah. 
This is really old. It's been fixed one time because uh, this wasn't working anymore, this zoom thing. It had gotten out of the rails that go inside here. But it went into the warranty, so that was no problem with that. But it's a it's an old piece of equipment. It's probably what could I lie? Well, many years. I don't know if it's ten, but it's at least seven, eight, something like that. It's old, but it still works. It works just fine. Uh, why I don't use the Tamron 100 to 600, they also have that, is because I once bought a Tamron lens from the air, airfield when we were going to Iceland. And that lens was so full of shit that I will never buy anything from Tamron. Never, ever, ever. That's like absolute. It didn't focus to anything. It said it's focused, but it wasn't focused. I had to take all the pictures about six times and hope that it's focused and use loads of manual focusing and it was really annoying. Loads of pictures were total shit because of that lens. So if you Tamron and your lens lenses, probably now they're good and things like that, but at that time I was really disappointed. Mm. But yeah, that's my basic gear for the wildlife. I take usually my landscapes with this, I take the animal pictures with this, everything this with this. With the R6, oh yeah baby, this is the shit. It's fast as hell. Uh, when I was examining what R lens I, uh, camera I would take, I was thinking about R7, but then there was that truth that the buffer of R7 is really small. The, it can't hold as many long for the burst shooting that this can. So this is better. And of course, I think this can handle ISO and things like that much better. Mm. Uh, now, as this is mirrorless, I have screen here. Yeah, it's a screen. It, there is no mirror. The amazing thing that I have found out, I realized immediately after buying this and making the first test is that I can shoot videos of animals what, that I'm photographing, if the situation gives, gives space for that. I can just start recording here on this old one. I would need, I would need to look from this screen here and I would leave, like, have to keep it this and it's really shaky. But with this I can just hold it in my hand, have this support element here, it's called hand. And just like this, and then I have a really steady thing and I can shoot video in 600 millimeters. No problem, that's beautiful. Then of course I have learned the pro professional way. I think Will told me a long time ago that you're doing everything wrong. Uh, I'm now using the back focusing button, not anymore this. This is just command shoot. Before that, this I had the, I had that you press it half halfway and then take a shot, put it on the full way. But no, it has to be here on the back. It's it's really good. It gives me the option to go on manual and whenever I want. Because for example, if you're walking and you see animal and there's loads of pushes and pussy and everything in front of you, uh, and you can just barely see the animal, you can then. Take the control to yourself and do the manual and just shoot, the no problem. Also, I have this one is uh, the first focusing button does the that it will try to find animal. I will it will track the animal eyes. It will find the eyes of the animal. And the second one is just spot metered one in the middle of the screen. Usually, it's on the middle of the screen, but of course with the joystick you can move it around. But that's like when the other one don't know what to do, the other one knows and depending on the situation what you need to do. Yeah, that's that's basically, and it's fast and it's silent. I use, what is the mode I use, it's called, yeah, it's called electronic first curtain that someone somewhere recommended. Sometimes 
what it the speed is different there is a sound but I can also use electronic shutter then it's the most fastest and there is no sound but that makes that I don't remember the what it's called this kind of interference if the uh, subject is moving it can twist the image that it doesn't look correctly so that's why I go with first curtain I think it's 15 shots per second or something crazy like that I don't know about the settings I, I don't know if I should go here to talk about the settings uh, maybe this is not the not the place for the good settings or maybe it is I don't know <clears throat> well about the settings one thing for certain is for if you're a wildlife photo photographer you need to take a photographer one is by default I think it's rather annoying setting the camera by default is configured to do the dust cleaning from the sensor when you turn it on the camera and I think that's quite the stupid thing to do to have if you're walking and you want to reserve your battery it doesn't take a long time to start up it's fast but when it does the cleaning it's it's just stupid you you turn it on and then you like cleaning sensor what the hell no I want to take a picture of that magnificent animal over there yeah that's that was the thing that I was rather annoyed with this lens I usually shoot 1600 ISO I can go much higher now because <laughs> because of the Canon R6 ISO handling is really good oh yeah the belt the belt I roll is peak design belt it's the best you can have you see it has these ears these tiny ear things and with these ears you just clip it on like this I just took it off now it's off now I ha if I have smaller lens I just put it here with the big lens you have to have it here no, like this it just goes on like this and it won't fall off it just totally won't I think I have had this about two years now and it, it sticks it doesn't come off it's really brilliant it's been working and I have I would say I have a heavy load here and still it have, hasn't corrupted these uh, things these narut what is naru naru is that over there that, yeah ropes or ropes yeah probably ropes but yeah that's my basic wildlife now the other gear yeah, like I said I have this old camera here why would I have this well if I just go for a walk in the evening or do something and I'm not expecting to have like some beautiful view of something then I probably won't take this then I ha will have time to low but if, if it's longer trip or something or I know that it demands something more it demands I take time lapse more or it demands something more it needs more megapixels this has more megapixels than that but like I said it, the size actually doesn't matter and if if this would be too small for you you can use Photoshop or the our favorite Topaz Gigapixel after you have all, already purchased all the Topaz products but then I with this I would use this 24 to 70 millimeters for this this is I think my first L lens and it's still working working perfectly but it's like beast kind of stuff can be taken with this then I have my white this would also go to the landscape part it's this is fully manual lens 2.88 and it's 14 millimeters not expensive about three to four hundred then when we hit uh, go and shoot some portrait stuff kind of things that's where this comes handy 135 millimeters one 
6.8 Sigma Art Lens. These Sigma Art Lenses are beautiful. They make such a great lenses that... Mm, mm, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Good thing that these both camera bodies have the same battery. They work together, it's amazing. Then I have this with me on my trips. If, if it's a longer trip or something overnight, I take... Usually those will last the batteries, but just in case I have this, I can load my batteries with a power charger. The power bank. With the power bank, like this. This is 30,000, 30, how the hell you say that? I don't know how to say it, but this is huge brick, but it has loads of power. Then all kinds of, I have all kinds of gadgets for small light stuff if you need to make light. For example, this one, this is, yeah, the battery is done. No, it's not. Just a small, a small light that you can use for lighting things up for example well i don't take much pictures of people but this would work, work in a such a scene or making a video lighting a video or lighting lighting the dog that is sleeping over there wait 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 those are basically my all I need gear, lenses and cameras, that's it. Then I have tripods, I have two tripods, I have one Manfrotto and one Sirui. I don't want to show them, that's not, probably nobody is interested in that. They are just tripods. Other stuff, uh, you have to have knife, multifunctional knife always with you. Uh, <laughs> then you have to have a black face makeup to ready to put your corpse paint on wherever you go. Yeah, all kinds of stuff you need. You need. You know what you need. You never have enough, and something is missing always. I, with the memory cards in these cameras, I have thought it in a way that they are so big that. On a trip, I don't need another one. So they are all 128 gigabyte memory cards in all of my cameras, except the GoPro camera. That's a smaller one, but it's a different story. Uh, <coughs> next night there is coming. Well, this is morely to the winter time and when it's cold. But when you leave your camera to take time lapse, this is the thing that will will make your lens warm so it doesn't fog up. I bought it this last last autumn, last winter and it actually works perfectly. You just take from the backpack your power bank, connect that into this and voila, you're good to go. Your lens doesn't fog up and you can leave it taking photos the whole night and forget it in the rain and it will start raining in the night and then your camera will be destroyed. Wah, I don't know. Yeah. Then I have my old backpack. This has been Pro Tactics PP450 AV2. Amazing backpack. Nothing special. It has the right amount of space. I have that. If you have ever watched my first vlog, check it out. If you haven't, check it out. I have. It's the first film on this channel. I have my biggest backpack on that trip and it was just a day walk, but I have so, it's, so, it's like, it's like big as the world. Yeah. Uh, about the vlog thing, I have Canon M6 Mark II as my prime vlog camera. Then I have GoPro 7 that I usually take the moving pictures, walking, looking around it's always with that because that doesn't work in any way if you're moving just if you have this camera don't film anything if you're moving because it's shaking it's uh, yeah, it's terrible it's all over the place and the few footage will look shit 
This was, I showed this one in the, some previous video when I, I got fed up with the gorilla pod. Uh, people use gorilla pod for vlog purposes, but for me it doesn't last long enough and it's annoying to put on to yourself when you're moving in the forest. When I'm filming, I cannot have the tripod for the vlog camera. That's like out of the question that I would have this camera, then I had my vlog camera on a tripod. No, 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 that doesn't work. I have that camera here and I can uh, stick this into, into a wood, into a branch, anything. It's amazing, it works really well. Then when I'm walking, I will have my this belt this belt and I will just when I stop filming with the vlog I will just clip it on here and walk on then it will just hang around with me on my waist here and it works just perfect and it will not fall off not anyway not anyway yeah but next just be it uh, one back where are the batteries? But that's it. That's my that's my things that I use to take my crappy photo crappy. It's not anything special. I don't have really really expensive lenses. This Sigma costs one thousand three hundred euros. The C contemporary model or what the hell it was called costs under 1000 euros. This has 5% faster focusing system than the C1, this S1. Sport, this is the sport mod model. Oh yeah, I also, as the R6 has, uh, the lens mount is different. I bought the uh, adapter, I bought, I have the more expensive one that has the ring. I can uh, configure anything the camera to do with the ring. Is it the straight ISO, ISO if I want to make it brighter? If I use AV mode, I can uh, put the lightning meter down faster from here and things like that. It's really nice. And of course, I have on the screen here, I have the screen protector installed so that it won't explode. Probably it will explode at some point. My vlog camera screen is already broken the second time and I have now been dealing a lot with the insurance company with my car because I don't know how to use handbrake while parked it <laughs> and things like that and I have fixed that camera one time and other things and that camera and so but at some point probably I will fix that screen again. Yeah. On the vlog I have uh, that metallic cage with that vlog where everything is on and there is that Rode micro mic. What is it for vlogging? Mm, works just fine. Sometimes you have to use, I use Adobe, Adobe Premiere, Lightroom, all the Adobe family stuff. <coughs> uh, you have to use that denoise if there is some kind of noise coming on the background, you can get rid of that. But usually it, it works fine. The pro tip now that came to my mind, because you, I have made you watch this terrible kind of video. The, the thing, uh, the pro tip is with the Adobe. People say always that Adobe it costs too much. Well, the Photoshop Lightroom, if you can go with those, just basic photo editing, it's over 10 euros per month. It's nothing. It's like you buying a couple of beers here in Finland, a couple of good beers per month. It's nothing. Uh, but I have the full subscription. I have everything, all the, all the things that Adobe offers, the full Creative Cloud subscription. But it only costs little over 40 euros per month. If I would have the Premiere separately, it would still cost a lot. So why why don't take all? I, I have all. I have played around with the other software also, like the After Effects, things like that. And <clears throat> the thing is, 
that they are asking the price of 60 something euros for the whole shit per month. Don't go with that. Go to the Adobe, sign into the Adobe website, surf around with the support, try to find chat. There is a chat there. There is somewhere in there, there is a chat. Start a chat with Adobe customer support and ask them politely that, yo, what's up? What's up Adobe people? Do you have any special offer for me? For the Creative Cloud subscription. And it doesn't take long. The support guy will ask that I will ask my some manager or something and he will she will he will it will ask an offer for you and you will probably receive an offer and it's about might be 20 euros or something off. My first experience was that I saw that there was an uh, this these days that if you now this offer that if you start Adobe subscription you get it for 30 uh, 40 39 90 for 12 months like for each month it's 39 90 no that's not bad well I went there and I it was something that it wasn't available in Finland or I missed it or there was something and I asked that hey there was this offer can I still get it well, I did get a better offer. I got, got it for 34 euros per month. So I don't know what's going on with them. But do it. Go to the Adobe website and the support and ask for that. Of course, I don't know what would happen if you suddenly like say that, oh no, no, I don't want this anymore. Probably it will just stop because you will move your credit card away from the system and things like that. Yeah, it's a, that, that is the pro tip of today. Hmm. Thank you for watching. I will put a couple of pictures. I think I have taken something. I'm not sure. If there is, check it out after. There might be a couple of pictures. The future plan. Hello. Do that. 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 Do just, yes, yes. Ah, I had 90 subscribers. My subscription count went to 90 suddenly, but then someone left because it was on. It is now 89. So if you're watching, save me and subscribe to my channel. Then I will have 90 subscribers. Yeah. So. Plans. Do I have my future plans? Well, the plans is is to go and document the forests that are going away, that are dying because of human waste in this on this planet, and make documents and pictures of those. Um, I have lots of areas around that needs to be visited, documented, and things like that. One thing that I need now is this a beer yes my holiday starts now it's the second part for two weeks holidays we're gonna be visiting some norpa areas again this time a little bit kind of different maybe some footage from there i don't know i have plans to make at least two or three videos during my holidays so that's why it's time to take one cold beer and start <coughs> celebrating my holiday <laughs> yeah I have many over there and sauna is over there so I will today sauna and beer day <coughs> and on the upcoming night there will be parasites in the sky so probably I will try to take some time lapse of those compile those images or something but thank you for watching, subscribe, like, have a nice end of the summer and all that good stuff. See you!